Julie tried calling a little while ago to let me know that she fell and scraped up her face really bad on the playground. So everyone's coming to line up at the door. Okay. And I don't know how, but somehow she got tripped. People can be mean, but you just, you have to know who you are and keep going, okay? I have one proud mom. Good morning, passengers. I am starting off the day with a phone call from the school. Make sure you're buckled in here, okay? How are you doing? You doing okay? Oh, I hope Julie's okay. So I guess she fell. Julie tried calling a little while ago to let me know that she fell and scraped up her face really bad on the playground. And I need to go get her. I hope she's okay. Scraping up your legs and stuff is hard enough, but man, if you start scraping up your face, that's too... I just hope that kind of stuff doesn't scar, you know? I heard that Julie needs checked out. Her face is pretty dangerous. Is it? Do you think I'm gonna need to get stitches for her? It's just rashing and... It's here, 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 and part of her lip. Oh my gosh, so she just like must have tripped on the playground and just skid her face. And so everyone's coming to line up at the door. Okay. And I don't know how, but somehow she got tripped. I don't know if everyone was kind of just running to oh, the okay. lineup, you know, and anyway, she got tripped. Oh, and her knee, her right knee is supposed to be broken. Okay. Oh, I thought you were like, like, right back here. What? Your face in here? You don't want to show your face? Okay, I won't show it. Oh, wait, how do you find it? Because you're embarrassed by it? Oh. Please, I'm sorry. Abby, do you want to give her a big hug? This is the last time I'm going to eat. This is the last time I'm going to eat. What are you doing? What are you doing? Julie, <laughs> bed, turning on a movie for her. She's probably gonna watch a movie she loves. It's uh, Dragon Three to the Edge. So you're gonna spoil her? Let's let's show Julie a lot of extra love and attention, okay? Your bed, Miss. Oh, good job. Do you like a possible? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Mom, if you turn on a K movie downstairs, then that means I'm gonna. I'll turn on a movie it. for you too, okay? Okay. I love you so much. I love you too. Uh, Julie has asked that we not show her face. Do you want to tell us what happened? I think I, already, I may have already explained it. Her face looks very sore. On one side of her face, it, it's pretty rough, pretty swollen, very sad. I don't want you to think you can't have a birthday party this week, though. No. Do you want a birthday party? I think you still should. She said, Mom, I don't think I can have a birthday party anymore. And I said, your real friends are not going to care if your face looks like this. No ice skating or out, but just do a nice, quiet birthday party at home with some friends. We could do that. I brought you a purple popsicle closest to your favorite color, my miss. Thanks, Bobby. And I shall turn on your favorite commercial. Commercial? <laughs> what the heck? No one wants to say much commercials. <laughs> turn on my favorite TV show. Yeah. Oh, got it. <laughs> Can you turn on Snuffnet? Yeah. Okay. I am your personal servant today, for reals. So you can finally be the queen you've always imagined yourself to be. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being in elementary school. And I had a wart right here on my chin. I did. Was it right here or right here? You know what? It was like right here. And I had another wart on my nose. People would call me a witch. It wasn't very nice of them, was it? People can be mean, but you just, you have to know who you are and keep going, okay? Have any of you ever had something happen where you were embarrassed to be seen? Maybe it was a wart like I had on my face. Maybe it was a scraped up face like Julie. I remember I had this huge cut on my forehead. Mm. You guys were trying to put a band-aid on it, but I didn't want you to. Mm -hmm. So, but, I remember. And, I did, and then I had to stay home from school and I mean from church and dad would be sitting me, he's the best. That's, oh. that's, that's why I think I know what it is. Oh, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. She's so cute. Okay, so this is Chad's very first game. He made the basketball team. Uh, I'm so excited. He made the basketball team for his school, and he's number. Did you say 71? 71. 71 is Chad's number, and they're in white. I can't wait to watch him play. All the other boys look so big. Is this the, most this of them? Okay, so most of these guys are ninth graders. I don't even know if Chad's gonna have playing time then. He might just have to warm the bench this season since he's the only seventh grader on the team. I'll actually be surprised if he plays at all. Find your guard. There you go, Jane. Chad's getting playing time.
Sherry says I have cringy cheering. Inform me what non cringy cheering looks like. Oh, clapping. Good job. Chad's, Chad's got the ball. Chad's got the ball. Oh, nice. Good job. Wow. All right. Chad just got fouled. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He does. His shorts, like his shorts are so darling. All right. All right. Oh my gosh, Chad. I have one proud mom. Are you a basketball fan? If so, comment down below. Let's know. You've got to tell this, okay. Sherry. Apparently, there's a river, Sherry, in the country of Africa that runs through the country of Chad. Well, uh, through the country, through the continent of Africa that runs through the country of Chad. No way. And is it spelled? Well, it's C H A R I or S H A R I. What? That's awesome, man. No way. To the viewer who came up with that, good job. So Sherry runs through Chad. So Chad's bigger than you, Chad's bigger than you but you get to him. 